That is award-winning and multi-million album selling Boise musician Curtis Stigers and his band playing at a jazz festival in the south of France several years ago. He hasn't been able to play a concert like that in front of an audience since the pandemic pulled the plug on live performances 16 months ago. But that is about to change. And it is exciting for everyone. Curtis is going to play his smooth style of jazz and adult contemporary in Vail and Aspen, Colorado, coming up July 8th and 9th. Then he's going to come on back to his hometown of Boise to join us for his first show here in a really long time. Curtis and his band will perform at the Idaho Botanical Garden on Sunday, July 11th. Gates open at 5. The concert starts at 6. Tickets are now on sale at CurtisSteigers.com and the Idaho Botanical Gardens website. But before he performs live there, he's going to perform live for us from his kitchen right here on Wake Up Idaho. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, you two. Hey, well, it's, Curtis, it's you've nice, been, you've been it's performing nice to see those. You. Sorry, those live streaming acoustic concerts there every week yeah. to your fans around the world in the series you call Songs from Your Kitchen. But now you're getting ready to head back out on the road. And we're just wondering, and, and on stage, how good does it feel to know you're going to be playing in front of an audience for the first time in so long? It's it's really exciting. I I, uh, I have enjoyed my my kitchen for the last year and and a few months. Uh, it's been nice to be home with the dogs. They they love the pandemic, but uh, it's time for me to get back out there and uh, and do my thing. It's it's going to be great. I mean, I haven't played music with people. I've been doing this <laughs> by myself for for you know over a year, and so it'll just be nice to to sing songs with guys that uh, they can play a little bit better than I can. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. Do you have any nerves? I mean, you've played for thousands and yeah. thousands of people in stadiums around the world, but do you have any nerves now that you're getting back out there or is it just going to feel like old hat? I, I'm going to I'm going um, to say that I'm I'm not nervous, but you know, I'm sure somewhere down there it'll it'll be odd to get out there. I did one little performance not that long ago for the uh, for the rededication of the Gene Harris Jazz Festival in the Julia Davis in Julia Davis Park. There were really were not there wasn't anybody out in the audience because it was it was for a live stream event. So it was just mostly uh, city city employees. But that felt normal. That didn't feel weird. So I mean, that was kind of my test. Will I fall apart? Will I forget how to do it? I think I still remember how. Plus, I've been performing performing for my dogs and they're a oh, really good audience. They're the, a great audience. Yeah, they are. So what can fans expect at the concert at the Botanical Garden? Well, my band is flying in uh, from, from the East Coast. Uh, so we'll be a jazz quintet who also plays songs by, you know, Elvis Costello and Merle Haggard. I mean, that's that's what I do. I, I'm, I'm a jazz singer um, and, and I'm a saxophonist, but but I like to I like to mix things up. I like to I like to bring music from you know from my world, from my age, in addition to the old standards. Um, so it's it'll be a it'll be a rip roaring uh, fun time. Hopefully it won't be 105 degrees that day. Hopefully <laughs> we will get a break by then, Larry. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Larry's fault, right? It's Curtis, always Larry's fault. <laughs> for those who have moved into our area recently, I mean, you you've grown up here. You started your music career as a young teenager downtown with the jazz scene with Gene Harris and other greats. Uh, as we look at some pictures of you with some famous people you've met or famous musicians you've performed with, Bonnie uh -huh. Raitt. I mean, the list. Eric Clapton. The Elton list John. goes on. Elton John, even Prince. I want to ask about the 30th anniversary year of the release of your huge hit, I Wonder Why. What do you remember most about that time of your life and hitting it so big in the music world? Yeah, this is my this is my 30th anniversary as a recording artist this year. Um, it, it was amazing. I mean, I went from, you know, writing. I lived in New York uh, for for several years before I got my record deal. Um, I moved from Boise there and and, you know, to he's basically surviving on pizza and riding subways to my gigs to being on The Tonight Show and uh, traveling all around the world in a in a tour bus and meeting my heroes like Elton John and Eric Clapton and opening for people like Prince. it was it was crazy. It was weird, too, because, you know, that's not really who I am. I really Kind of belong here in my kitchen. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit more normal than 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 sort of a big pop star. So it was it was a good thing to sort of find my way back to jazz eventually, and to that 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 uh, that sort of grounded me musically speaking. But uh, it was a fun time, and uh, because of those hits from that first album, I've had a a career playing music for 30 years. It's amazing. It's it's really strange to think of 
30, that 30 years have passed. I, I don't feel that old, but I, I kind of look it, don't I? No, no you no, don't. No, 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 no. You're more Close handsome strong. than ever. Well, I congratulations. Was Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on 30 years and getting Thanks. back out on stage yes. after 16 months in your kitchen. So exciting. So, will you please play your big hit for us? And yeah. our, I will. And our this viewers? is. This is I Wonder Why. I wrote it with a guy called Glenn Ballard, and um, we will play this at the Idaho Bo Botanical Garden on Sunday, uh, Jul July 11th. And thanks, uh, thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Love is a hunger that burns in my soul, but you never notice the pain. And love is an anchor that won't let me go. I reach out to hold you. But you push me away Then you always convince me to stay And I wonder why we hold on With tears in our eyes And I wonder why we have to break down To make things all right And I wonder why I can't say to tell you goodbye Yes, I wonder why Now I'm no angel My selfish pride But I love you more every day And love is an anger Builds up inside as the tears of frustration roll down my face. Why does love always have to turn out this way? And I wonder why we hold on with tears in our eyes. And I wonder why we have to break down. To make things go right. And I wonder Wonderful why I can't sing. Tickets on sale. CurtisTigers.com and the Idaho Botanical Garden website. So nice to have live music back. Thank you, Curtis. Just a beautiful song. We'll let your music take us to break. And Once he's going to be my guest on Viewpoint oh, this Sunday is. morning as well, the whole half hour. We can talk more about his incredible career. Spans the whole globe. It's just amazing. What a success story. We will be right back. And I wonder why we hold on with tears in our eyes. And I wonder why we break down to make things all right. And I wonder why. When Grandma suggested cookies, Kyle wasn't expecting the new Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie okay. blizzard. Two beloved treats, soft. Curtis. That rock. Thank you. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh, a wonderful interview. Thank you, Curtis. Sorry, I Thank stepped you on you a couple times. Oh, it's all right. It's, it's the weird. I've got a delay in my phones with the picture. And anyway, it was great. It really was perfect. And that, 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 just that, uh, um, you know, the little ad, the little uh, 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 visual there is so great for the show. I mean, it yes. really, you sold, you, you sold my tickets for me. Okay, Thank good. You. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. I need I need to sell those tickets. Um, thank you, and uh, uh, Maggie, I will see you on Twitter. I'll try not to swear too much. Yes. Um, and, yes. Um, and Doug, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Yes, sir. I, I enjoy your spiciness. You you go. <laughs> okay, for it. good. Okay. But then I'll I, I won't worry about it then. Okay, good. <laughs> that sounded really good. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, thank you. Curtis. Oh, see good. you soon. It's good news. Okay, see you in a few hours. Bye.